How's it going, my friends? This is Ionicus, and today I'm review for Transformer Studio Series Crosshairs uh, from the last night, which isn't the greatest. And there's some good stuff in that, about that movie. In this, the introduction of the Decepticons, um, Megatron's look was awesome uh and just little eyes and ends here and there which are really good but there's a lot of crap too although i'd like to look at hot rod which i do have the studio series hot rod they give him a french accent and they could give him a Scottish one or an Irish, preferably an Irish or an English accent or something. But why French? Nah. Anyway. Well, I can imagine I'm not doing an uh, English accent because the cross hair is here. But you can see there's a figure in the open window, artwork, transformers. The name, Studio Series, Last Night, Transformers Last Night, Artwork, Artwork, Legal Bullshit, Legal Bullshit, and both modes in there, so, I had the Last Night, or the original Last Night version of him, uh, but, and I purged my uh, studio series for years. That was part of them. Or at least purged my uh, live action movie figures. Only one I really regret, two I regret selling, three Nitro Zeus, Thundercracker, and Jazz. Uh, Thundercracker, that version of Thundercracker, which is just a repaint of Nitro Zeus with a different head. That was a Toys R Us exclusive. I'm pretty sure it's pricey as all hell. Nitro Zeus, who everybody liked, and he was one of the best parts of last night. And Jazz is so far into the beginning of the Studio Series run. I doubt I'll ever get him again. I regret selling him. So. It is what it is. It's hope, we can only hope Hasbro puts out a, some other movie version of jazz. Uh, that was good. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get him out of the box and check him out. And welcome to Ionicus Toy Reviews. So here we have Crosshairs out of the box. And at first look, he does not look bad. A lot of detail on the chest. Head skull looks really good. He's got those weird goggles of his on his forehead, over his head. What looks like kibble here and here and here and his backpack it's kind of like a kind of like his uh, trench coat because he's always supposed to be setting so it's called a RAF paratrooper Uh, it does not look bad. I don't think I had the first studio series. Uh, 
the original Studio Series crosshairs, but I think I had the Dark of the Moon crosshairs. Age of Extinction one. I think that's the one I had, because this is the last night one. But, let's see the channel there. If I do, if I did have him, and I did do a review of him, I'll try to put the, the link down below. And, uh, It can go. It feels like it can, could go 360. But I'm not gonna force it. You can go back a little bit. Can't go to go front. Do like the head sculpt. Mm. The shoulders have a ball joint in there, so you can go 360. It feels like there should be a mushroom joint in the upper arm. There's a bend at the elbow. And the hands go left and right like that. But that's mainly for transformation. No waist swivel. Leg seems to kick out that far. Can't really go back because it catches onto the backpack. You move that to the side. You can't do... I kick to the left and I just pop that off. There's a, a bench here at the knee, a double jointed elbow, or knee, I mean. There's a ball joint down the foot, do the rotation all over the place. So, it doesn't have that bad of articulation. And you got this whole backpack piece, it's serves a purchase uh, serves as purse I don't know how to talk it does what it's supposed to be it's supposed to it's supposed to hang like that to make it look like he's wearing a trench coat and I actually think in age of extinction this kind of expands to be like a parachute when he dies from a building or whatever I don't I don't remember I can vaguely remember Two of these little mini machine guns. So they're go ah, I really cannot talk today. Excuse me. I really cannot talk today. And the machine guns are molded in this black plastic and it looks really, really good. And these plug right into the hands. So there we go. Mm. 
information wise, hold the arm, leg, the hands in, bring this all the way up, rotate the arms backward. Uh, that keeps popping off. See, I hold these in, rotate the, the feet inward like this. inward to the out I keep messing that up let me clean this up and I'll be right back so I cleaned it up I missed the the peg in there this piece is supposed to flip in and the legs are supposed to rotate out and there's pegs on the arms that peg into there once I did that it kind of just clicked right back into place Combo is nice. It's red, not red, the green and the black. Unfortunately, he's got the head, his head peeking out in the back end. I'll pop the spoiler back on. The combo is very sleek. Nice wheels. Does roll very well. And you have the headlights there, the front end. Not 100% sure what he's, his car mode is supposed to be. I don't know cars with a shit, unfortunately. At least most, other than other. But he does look good. I think he's a vet. I think that's a Corvette logo right there. But, looks good. Can't complain. Only, I don't only complain is you see the head right there. He's like, Bill Trevor. But that's about it. Let me get him back in his robot mode. I'll be right back with my final thoughts in just a minute.
So crosshairs. Uh, I'm kind of not overly pretty dis not overly disappointed. It could have been a lot better. Uh, there's too much going on in too small of spaces for this figure. I feel like he could have been better. Definitely feel like he could have been better. Especially with all this back here, which I don't even think, I'm pretty sure I have this configured all wrong. I'll look into it more later. And the spoiler keeps popping off. But. Was I'm not really regretting buying him. And he serves a purpose for being, considering the fact that I do like the character. The figure isn't the best. I'm saying 7 out of 10. Try to get a better price than retail on him if you can. Maybe go for a different, better version. Now, if you liked this video, like crosshairs, give me a thumbs up down below. Like, share, subscribe, whack that bell for notifications. And just remember, keep in those toy aisles. He falls over. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.